the mayor of Stone Harbor just telling us that one family's been coming here for 70 years. So there's certainly a lot of traditions alive and well. And these two towns are right next to each other. And we want to go to Victoria Whittle, who's around 80th Street, Tory, where Avalon and Stone Harbor meet up. That's right. We are at the place where the divider is here. Avalon being on this side. And if you notice, this is Lieutenant Ian from the Avalon Beach Patrol. He's securing this side of the line. And on this side of the line, we have Captain Sandy of the Stone Harbor Beach Patrol monitoring this area as well. And guys, you know, one of the great things about being down the shore is just being here. But it's all about being safe. And we have you guys to thank for that. And I'll start with you, uh, Lieutenant Ian. What is the most important part for the Atlanta, uh, Avalon Beach? Beach patrol when it comes to tackling each summer? I think just making sure that our people are safe. I think that's just always the number one priority. You know, that comes before everything else, before these races, everything. As long as we're safe, we're having a su uh, successful summer. Absolutely. And Lieutenant Ian, uh, I, I'm sure, Captain Sandy, you can mimic what Lieutenant Ian had said. It's all about safety here in Stone Harbor. Uh, that's what you're all about as well. Safety is always the priority. We hope that the races are great, but. Uh, we have to always make sure things are safe. At the end of the day, that's all that we really care about. Absolutely. And uh, you've heard both of them talk about races. Guys, let's talk about the races that we have. Even today, we have both sides of the divide here, Avalon and Stone Harbor, going head to head. What is happening tonight? So the Margate Memorials is happening right now on or at 6.30 it's starting, uh, where it's all 15 beach patrols in South Jersey are competing. Um, they do a doubles race, a singles race, and a uh, swim race. So that's happening 6:30 tonight. Wow! And Captain Sandy, we're already giving some of the crew a little bit of a, of a workout. Uh, is it usually a friendly competition between the other beach patrols from other beaches? It's friendly, but it is it is quite intense. Okay. Uh, we all take a lot of pride in our patrols, and the, one of the, the benefits of the competitions is that it's we sharpen our skills. We train at running, rowing, swimming, and. Uh, for the races and it makes us more effective at, at lifeguarding. I can imagine even just being a spectator for these races is incredible because, you know, for TV timing, we had to bring them in, then send them back, and they rode out there quickly. I mean, these guys are trained to tackle waves like they're tackling right now. Oh, absolutely. Lieutenant. They're out there every morning. They're out there practicing. This is coming second nature. Wow. If you want to get abs, definitely a good way to start is by rowing and tackling uh, these waters, that's for sure. Leaving with, uh, with a piece of safety for everybody out there from both Avalon and Stone Harbor. They say the one thing that you must do is never ever swim without a lifeguard present. That's the best way to be safe and have fun at the beach. I'm sending it back to you, Jess. Thank you so much, guys, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you.